Welcome, children. I have some friends with me today. I have Praise and I have Michelle, and they have a plate in front of them. And I want to see if these meals are delicious. Okay, so Praise, let's see how delicious is your meal. Oh, it's yummy! It's yummy! Oh, she's enjoying her meal. That means the meal is very, 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 very delicious. Michelle seems to be angry and upset. Maybe because her meal is not looking so good. Michelle, come on, let's have a try. How is your food? It's smelly. Oh no, her food is smelly. Okay, maybe it tastes better. Can you taste it? It's disgusting. She almost threw up. Did you see that, children? Who likes a disgusting meal? No, not me. I would rather have praise delicious and tasty meal. Okay, nobody likes a disgusting meal. So welcome, children. Let's say hello to our friends. Okay, well, welcome to another fantastic Bible adventure. Did you like her presentation? Oh, we had a tasty meal for our friend Praise. And we had a terrible meal, disgusting meal for Michelle. Do you like a meal that is distasteful? Something disgusting? No. I don't like a disgusting meal. No, no, no. It's a no, no. I don't like it. And do you know what? God has certain things that he doesn't like. Yes. God hates certain things and that is what we are going to find out about in our today's Bible adventure. Do you want to find out what God does not like? You want to find out those things that are more disgusting to God than a disgusting meal? Yes, yes I want to find out. So children, if you want to find out, I want you to sit right where you are. I want you to get your siblings, I want you to get your friends, get mommy and daddy too if you can, and let's go on today's fabulous Bible adventure. Yes, but first things first, it's time to talk to Jesus, time to talk to Jesus, come on everybody, it's time to talk to Jesus. Children, hands together, eyes closed, and heads bow. Father, we thank you for bringing us to another wonderful Bible adventure. Lord, today we want to learn from you. There are certain things that God hates, and we want to find out what that thing is. Lord, we pray that you come and teach us. Let us not only be those that will hear your word, but Lord, we'll also be those that will be doers of your word. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, children, now I know so many of you are actually writing your promotional exams you're going to move to the next class right some have finished writing their exams some are still writing their exams and then some people are done writing their exams but wherever whatever you are doing right now whether you're writing it whether you're done writing it i promise you god is going to give you good success in all of your exams and you will move to a new class in jesus name so don't you think god deserves an awesome praise Yes, God deserves an awesome, awesome praise. And so we're going to go for praise and worship. And let's get ready to give him the best dance, the best smile, jumping, singing, shouting and shouting. Hallelujah. It's praise and worship time. In the morning, early in the morning, in the morning, I will rise and pray to the Lord. In the morning, early in the morning, in the morning, I will rise and pray to the Lord. In the morning, early in the morning, in the morning, I will rise and pray to the Lord. In the morning, early in the morning.
Oh, children, wasn't that a wonderful praise and worship time? Did you dance? Did you sing? God deserves an awesome, awesome praise all the time. Remember, I said I was going to tell us something that God hates, much more than the disgusting food that was given to our friend Michelle. Okay, I'm going to go straight into it. God hates lies. Mm. God hates a lying tongue. Now, what does lying mean? Lying is when you are not being truthful on purpose. You are not being honest. You don't tell the truth and you know it's not the truth, but you decide not to say it. That is what lying is. Lying is not saying the truth on purpose. Now that's the first thing that God does not like. God hates lies. There's another thing that God hates as well, and that's cheating. Children, can we say it together? Cheating. Now what is cheating? when you act um, in a dishonest way so that you can gain something from someone or from a group of people. Take for example, you are supposed to be part of a game with your friend and then you decide to bend the rules or break the rules so that you can win. That is cheating and God hates cheating. That is our topic for today. We are going to talk about lying and cheating. Our topic says lying and cheating. These are things that God hates. And we're going to talk about a story on our adventure today about some people that lied and cheated. Have you heard the name Ananias and Sapphira before? It sounds strange, right? Okay. Okay, we're going to say it together. Ananias. Can we say that? Ananias. Good. Can we say the other name? Sapphira. Sapphira. Beautiful. So, Ananias and Sapphira were a couple and they lived in the time of the early church where Peter was the apostle of the church. Now, in those days in the early church, everybody did things together. They, they lived together in peace, they loved each other, they shared things together. And when people are in need, you know, it doesn't make them happy. So when people are in need, some of the members of the community would go out and sell their properties. They can decide to sell their house, they can decide to sell their camel or their horse, as they used in those days. And then they will bring the money and lay it at the feet of the apostle. And that money will be used to care for people that were in need. People that didn't have food to eat or people that didn't have a place to stay. That was what they did in those, in those days. And everybody will be happy and they will live together in peace and in unity. So this couple, Ananias and Sapphira, decided that they wanted to sell a piece of land that they had and give the money to the church. And do you know what? They sold that piece of land they got some money and they decided to give it to the church. But do you know what Ananias and Sapphira did? They kept part of the money that they got from selling the land at home in their safe. And they took only a part of it to the church and they gave it to the apostle Peter. And so when Ananias got to Peter, Peter called Ananias and said, Ananias, oh, this is the money you got from selling your piece of land? And I said, yes, Peter, that is the money. And Peter said, is this all the money you got from selling your piece of land? And I said, yes, Peter, that is all the money we got from selling that piece of land. Mm. Children, was that true? No. Oh, of course not, it wasn't true. And you know what, Peter was sad because he knew Ananias was lying. And he said, oh, Ananias, Oh, Ananias, why have you decided to lie to the Holy Spirit? Why have you decided to lie to God that this is all the money that you got from selling your piece of land? God hates lies. And as Peter was talking to Ananias, because God really, really hates lies, God punished Ananias immediately. 
with death. And that was it. Ananias was gone. And Peter was sad because he didn't like what Ananias did too. Just a few hours after that, Sapphira, the wife of Ananias, also came to the church. Mm. And she didn't know what had happened. She didn't know what had happened to her husband, Ananias. And so when she got to church, Peter called on her, Sapphira. And she said, yes, Peter. Sapphira, please, I need you to be honest with me. Is this all the money you got for selling the piece of land that belonged to you and your husband? And Sapphira said, yes, Peter, that is all the money. And Peter said, are you sure? Is this all the money you got? And she said, yes, that's all the money. And Peter was sad. And Peter said, oh, Sapphira, I thought you would be better. So it, it, it was a plan between you and your husband to come together and lie to God. Oh, Sapphira, what happened to your husband is the same thing that is going to happen to you. And do you know what? God punished Sapphira instantly, just the way he punished Ananias with death. And that was it. Sapphira too was gone. Mm. Children, it seems to be very sad, right? But you know what? God hates lies. Do you remember the face of our little friend, Michelle? When she tasted the food, she was almost throwing up. It was disgusting. That is exactly how God feels when we tell lies. God doesn't want us to be dishonest. God doesn't want us to cheat. He doesn't want us to tell lies. We are his children. He wants us to be better and to teach people how to be better. You know what? Peter had talked to Ananias and said, Ananias, this land was yours. The money you got was yours. You could have decided to give all of it or part of it. Ananias, why did you now decide to give part of it? And then you lied to say that this was all of it. And that was exactly what Ananias did wrong. It wasn't wrong for them to sell their property and give to the church. In fact, it was very good of them. And you know, today, even in church, we do give offerings in church to help the running of the church. So there was nothing wrong with Ananias giving just part of the money. What was wrong was that he lied. He wanted people to believe he was something that he was not. He wanted people to believe that he gave everything when they only gave a part of what they had. That was being dishonest. That was lying. And that was tricking. You know what? Peter was also offended because they wanted to trick Peter. So Peter would think that they were very, very generous. But because God was speaking through Peter, Peter told them, no, you are telling a lie. Peter didn't like the fact that they wanted to trick him. They were being sneaky and tricky, you know, and Peter didn't like it. And this was what God hated that made him to punish them instantly. So children, I'm sure you're thinking, oh, does it mean if somebody tells a lie, the person is going to be punished instantly the way Ananias and Sapphira were punished? No. God is going to give you an opportunity to make good of whatever lies you've told because he loves you, because he wants you to be better. But he also wants you to know how serious it is when you tell a lie, how serious it is for you to cheat other people. You are supposed to be an example to people. So that was why God gave us the story so that we can understand that he is so serious with the fact that he hates lies and he hates cheating. So children, God loves us and he wants us to be the one that will tell the truth at all times. He wants us to avoid lying. He wants us to avoid cheating and be an example to other people, being honest, being truthful, being the one that will stand out and represent God the way we should represent God. That's our story for today. So we we'll have a memory verse time. It's memory verse time. Our memory verse today 
is taken from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. And it's very simple. I'm sure you learned it when Auntie said it last week. You remember? Yes. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are not your own. Can we say it together again, children? Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are not your own. One more time, children. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are not your own. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. Beautiful children. I want you to say your memory verse. First thing in the morning, the last thing before you go to bed, every day, and it will become a part of you. It's creativity time. Wonderful. For our creativity today, I'm going to ask us a few questions. Are we ready, children? Are you sure you were listening when we were telling our story today? Okay, let me find out if you were listening. So I'm going to put some questions to you and I want you to say a big, big yes or a big, big no. Is that okay, children? Okay, let's go and let's see if you'll get the answers to my questions. So first thing, did God hate Ananias and Sapphira? Is that a yes? Put on your thinking cap. No, no. God did not hate Ananias and Sapphira. Mm. Wonderful, I'm sure you got the answer. Okay, another question. Did Peter like the fact that Ananias wanted to trick him into believing the lie? Ananias was going to trick Peter. Did Peter like that? Oh no, Peter did not like it that Ananias and Sapphira were going to cheat by making him believe a lie. Mm, he didn't like it. Okay, one more question. Did God hate the lies and the cheating of Ananias and Sapphira? Oh yes, I know you got that. Yes, God hates lies and God hates cheating. So how do we avoid it? How can we avoid lying and cheating? How are we going to avoid lying and cheating children? Oh, sometimes, you know, it seems to be easy for us to just tell a lie or for us to just cheat. Maybe you want to play a game with your friend and you know, if, if you can, you are supposed to run a race and there's a line for the starting point, it's better for you to just, you know, bring your legs out in front and cheat so that you can be ahead of your friends. Sometimes it seems easy, but that is not the way God wants us to behave. God, God wants us to be honest. So what can we do to remind us not to lie and not to cheat? I have something for you. Okay, so I want you to get a cutout. Always remember to tell an adult to help you with a cutout of a beautiful paper like this. Beautiful. And we're going to get some letters. Do you know what this letter is? Ah, as in Ananias. Yes, ah, as in Ananias. Okay, and we're going to stick it on our paper. And then we'll have another letter. S, S as in Safira. Good. So we talked about these two people today, right? And we know that they didn't end very well. And so every time we see the word us, we're going to remember Ananias and Safira and the fact that they they were the people that lied and cheat and we don't want to end up like them so that will stop us from lying and cheating so let's quickly do that we're going to stick our masking tapes at the back of our letter we're going to stick it at the back of our letter quickly good so we can have something like this and we'll paste it at our bedside so every time we see a and S, we remember Ananias and Sapphira and the fact that they didn't end well because they lied and cheated. And that will stop us from lying and cheating as well. Okay, children. 
Thank you for being a part of today's Bible adventure. Oh, it was wonderful having this time with you. So till we come again next week, always remember that God loves you so, so much. We too here at Bible Adventure loves you. And we will see you some other time. Bye.